Joining us now, Saul Weisenberg, former deputy independent counsel and Fox News contributor. Saul, Fannie Willis spoke at a church over the weekend and said the scripture um, uh, people keep sending me is no weapon formed against you shall prosper. But just because they don't prosper, it doesn't mean they won't form, even if you feel like everything you're doing in your life is the right thing. So Fannie is the victim, it looks like here, Saul Weisenberg. Well, this is very serious. This is the second time she has made extrajudicial statements that are likely to affect the outcome of the case. It's totally unethical. It's a valid ground, I think, to have her uh, taken off the case and to have the case dismissed. Now, the much worse thing she did was several weeks ago when she appeared at the oldest African-American church in Atlanta and said that her, the defense attorneys opposing her were racist. That is unquestionably unethical. It's tainting a jury pool that overwhelmingly elected her. And why aren't more people talking about this? Why aren't, uh, I'm only aware of one person in the mainstream uh, media who has commented upon this and condemned it. So it's very disturbing. Well, Saul, on this New York uh, Letitia James case and the Judge Arthur Engeron judgment, I, I, I mean, it took my breath away when I first saw it on Friday. Um, this is an effort to drive him not only out of New York, but out of business. And that message to other entrepreneurs or business people in New York is? Uh, don't don't screw with the Uniparty. And it's not just political candidates, though they're the most in danger. Any really, truly, radically conservative candidate is is in great, a great danger by this kind of activity. All you need is uh, a, a biased, result-oriented judge and a DA who actually runs on uh, indicting you. But really, Anybody is at risk, any business that runs afoul of the progressive orthodoxy, it can be on any of the hot button social issues. So I think it's gonna have a real effect. It's real, should be very embarrassing to the state of New York. And again, I can't emphasize it enough. She ran on a platform of getting Trump and then oversaw the case, totally improper in my view. All right, former prosecutor Andrew Weissman, along with other uh, far-left prosecutors, are out circling the wagons for Judge Engeron. Watch. This is really um, a, a decision that will cause a lot of pain, not just because of the number, but because of the way in which the company is restricted going forward. So a, a very, very severe decision. Saul, so, uh, they want Trump to not be able to move freely, even in his own companies. They have a minder in his company. They've barred him from having anything to do with it for three years. His sons, uh, you know, they're obviously severely restricted as well. I have never in my life witnessed anything like this when there is actually no victim and when the banks, as a good friend of mine mentioned to me over the weekend, did their own due diligence on these loans. There's no loss. The judge crows about that in, in the opinion. He says, really, you don't need it under this statute. And what he's doing is he is disgorging uh, ill-gotten gains by, by Trump, allegedly ill-gotten gains. But if there's no financial loss by anybody, if people like Deutsche Bank testified, we wanted to do business with him, we did our own due diligence, how can there be uh, improper gain to be disgorged. And as for, as for Mr. Wiseman, he's an expert on prosecutorial overreach. As you know, it's almost unheard of. You really have to be pathetic to have a judge mention your Brady violation in an opinion. And that is what happened with him several years <laughs> ago when he was a prosecutor. So, yeah, Saul, so any chance we get to bring that up is a good night for me. Saul, so, thanks so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.